I used to get the, the wafer, the oblea, and I used to act like I was in church. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all good. So today I'm going to be trying out some Mexican candy. I'm excited for this one. So with that being said, let's get started. Well, I'm going to be trying out some Mexican candy, of course. Some of these are in bulk because I couldn't find one individual. So I have tried some of these before when I was younger, like way younger. And some of these I have been wanting to try because I haven't been able to try them. So let's go ahead. The first are these Lucas Gusano, and it's chamoy candy. Now you just squeeze them down, and I had to buy the whole packet because they didn't have one individually. The next one is this Palenqueta Mixta Mix Brittle Bar. It's like this. This looks delicious. I remember my mama used to get some of these when I was little. These are her favorite, one of her favorite candies. Uh, mi mamá le encanta comer estos desde que yo estaba pequeña. Then we have the coconut candy, El Super Leon, which is like this. Then we have the milk caramel candy wafer, which is an oblea con cajeta de leche um, by El Super Leon again. Uh, Producto de Mexico, product of Mexico. Then we have the De La Rosa Mazapan original. Este es el mazapan. Todos saben el mazapan. So, aquí está. Mazapan. I'm really excited for this one. Pulparindo with real fruit. Okay, we're going to start with the chamoy. Oh, they're already ripping it apart. So these I used to have as a little kid, but it's been a long time I haven't had this. Twist it. And then you're supposed to squeeze it to get it. <laughs> mm. It is chamoy, but it's very kind of like... Uh, I'm going to put some in my lips so you guys can see. It is watery. I know you guys can see it's kind of watery. It's running down. But it is chamoy, but it's a little bit like, a little bit sour at the end. That one's good. I don't remember him being like this. Now we're gonna try the brittle bar. Like I, like I said, my mother loves these. I never found them like appetizing. I don't know why, but now I'm like, I want some. Oh, it smells like peanuts. It has peanuts and almonds. Look at that. Okay. This is really hard. Super sticky. I'm gonna go with the canines. on my teeth. This is good. Oh. This is really good. Really sticky. It does stick to your teeth a lot. It just tastes like what it is. Peanuts, almonds with um, honey, like hard honey. But this is really good. Now we have the coconut candy, el de coco. And by the way, it's the Mexican flag colors. Wow, guys. Mm. So far the best. If you like coconut, you guys are going to like this. Now the blast con cajeta de leche. Fun fact, when I was little, I used to make these with my mama. Um, cuando estaba pequeña, mi mamá y yo hacíamos estas en la casa. It's huge. It smells good. Super sticky on your teeth because it's melting, but it's so good. It tastes like caramel. A thing that I used to do with these, because like I said, my mama and I used to make them. I used to get the, the wafer, the oblea, and I used to act like I was in church. I need it because I used to go to Sunday school, so this is good. So these I've had before, the mazapan. These are actually one of my favorites as well, but I wanted to try them. Oh, there we go. I used to eat this a lot when I was a little girl. 
And my little thing is that I used to challenge like my family members to opening these and making sure that it doesn't do that. It's really hard to keep a mazapan whole. These taste exactly like peanuts. Super sweet peanuts. You have to say about the mazapan is that it's super sweet, but really good. So if you guys don't like super sweet, this isn't the one for you. But it is for me. Full party in them. I really want to try these. Well, I've tried these when I was a little girl. As an adult, nope, my family always gets them for gatherings, but I never, never really get one. They smell just like the marino. I recall the color being more bright. Am I wrong for the ones who have tried this before? These are a tiny bit spicy, but not bad spicy, like good spicy. It has a little kick. It does have real tamarind in there. So el tamarindo ahí está. You can see the tamarindo. This reminds me of, I think it's like, I don't know what it is, the pelón, the, the, ay, ayúdenme los que saben español. These remind me exactly of the ones that used to be like really good when I was little that come like in a little bottle and you kind of like squeeze it down and it comes out like hair. But it's not hair, guys. It's just the candy. Uh, Lucas Pelón. Pelones. If you guys know the name, say it down below in the comment section because I'm having a tr like, trouble remembering the name. But they taste exactly like those candies. Okay, guys, with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It helps me bring you guys more videos like these. And if you have, thank you so much. I hope you guys have a good evening, morning, night, wherever you're at. Until next time, bye, guys.